What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be comparing the two most common wavelengths for red laser pointers. This is going to be a comparison of the 635 nanometer color and the 650 nanometer color. So the 650 I have is the one in the silver host. That one is about 230 milliwatts, and then the 635 I have is the Spider 3 Inferno, and that one's on low power mode at about 330 milliwatts. So they're pretty close in power, only 100 milliwatts off. And I wanted to show you guys this comparison. Although it is subtle, it is noticeable. And it's a bit more noticeable to the human eye than it is on camera. So if you actually have these lasers in person, you'll be able to notice it a bit better. So because the nanometer number for the 635 is lower, it's closer to that orange color. And it definitely isn't orange, it is red. But you can see more hints of orange in it. Than you can in the 650 the 650 is pretty much like a solid ruby color and on camera for whatever reason the 650 almost looks like it has hints of pink in it but to the human eye it really doesn't look like that and i kind of made this little visual here to show you guys a little bit more of an accurate representation you can see that the 635 kind of has a little bit of hints of orange to it and the 650 is just like a pure red and again, this is just something I made in MS Paint, so it doesn't very accurately show the difference either. They kind of look similar in this, but they are definitely different colors to the human eye, and you can definitely notice it in person. Um, one thing to note is that because the 635 is lower on the nanometer chart, it's closer to 555 nanometers, which is the peak visibility color to the human eye. So 635 is always going to be... Um, brighter and more visible if you have like a 635 and a 650 and they're both 100 milliwatts the 635 will always be brighter that's just how it's gonna work so if you wanted to have a 635 and a 650 that were the same visibility the 650 would have to be significantly higher as far as the milliwatt power rating goes and for those of you who are wondering how I achieve this great beam visibility I do have a closed room right here with the fog machine in it and that will always give you some pretty spectacular um, laser beam results. So if you do want to get results like this, definitely go out and get a fog machine and just um, have it in a closed room like I have it here. And definitely use some laser safety glasses as well. I'll put links down below onto the reviews of both of these lasers because I've done reviews of both of them. If you guys found this little comparison video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you like laser videos like this, hit that subscribe button because I do a lot of great laser videos. So as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.